Hey guys, welcome back to Chai Time with Nisha. My husband really teases me about that part. He says I say Chai Time with Nisha really <laughs> sassy and I won't use the word. With a lot of style. Yeah, yeah, sure. That's the S word you say. <laughs> I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video. I'm so sorry. It's been making me so tense to film for you guys. I've been really anxious to get on here. And today was finally the day I told my husband, let's bring out the lights, let's set this up. I have to put together a video. It's taken me some time because if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that we recently moved from LA to, uh, I would say the tundra aka Minnesota, where thunderstorms and snowstorms happen on the same day. Yes. You're in the North Pole for Christmas. I can't <laughs> wait to move from here. Thank God that we are only here for a year. I wish we were in LA for a longer time, but we were there only for a year. Anyway, today's video is more beauty focused rather than makeup focused. If you're already familiar with my channel, you know that all of my videos so far have been about makeup, mainly lipsticks, let's be honest. But today I wanted to do something different. I have been receiving requests to share my skincare routine, my hair care routine, what I do to remove makeup, what I do to style my hair, so on and so forth. So I thought it would be a good idea to start off by sharing what my favorite cleansers are and what my favorite products are to use for makeup removal. On a day-to-day -day basis, I don't wear a full face of makeup like I'm wearing right now. This is the amount of makeup I put on when I'm doing Instagram posts or filming lipstick swatch videos for YouTube. Might not be a big surprise to y'all, but I don't look like this every single day. I've got a full face of cake on. And when I have a full face of cake on, there are like three to four products I like to use until my face feels squeaky clean. But I do have sensitive skin and it's really, really cold here. The air is dry. So I have to be careful not to use a bunch of products that are just gonna strip, strip, strip away my skin. Usually I just have a lot of sunscreen on because I'm allergic to the sun. My husband doesn't You are believe not allergic. He doesn't <laughs> believe me that I'm allergic to the sun, but I am allergic to the sun. You anyway, just have sensitive skin. So first I'm going to let you guys know what I typically use and then I'll show you guys the hardcore product. First I go in with micellar water and the one that I prefer is from L'Oreal. It's the one for waterproof makeup. Makeup. The one for waterproof makeup has two layers. It has oil kind of layer on top and then the watery layer at the bottom. It doesn't strip my face and it just it doesn't leave a weird residue either. So that's what I go in with first. And then I go in with the Skin Foods Bitter Green Deep Cleansing Gel with my Clarisonic. This gel is great for days where I just have sunscreen, moisturizer, blush, but not anything base-like, foundation, or concealer. My favorite way to remove mascara and lipsticks, especially liquid lipsticks, is the Alme Eye Makeup Remover Pads. And again, the one I like is oil-based, so this one is for waterproof makeup. This one is actually for eyes, but I like to use it to remove my lipsticks. On days when I am wearing heavier makeup like I am right now. Can you guys believe I, I put this beautiful face on just an hour ago? All to take it off, but I did take some pictures for Instagram, so be sure to check out the makeup details there. If you're not already following me, I'll leave the link below to my Instagram. I post there consistently. Yeah, I haven't been MIA there, so go check it out. The big gun that I was talking about is a new product by 
Pharmacy. It's called the Green Clean Makeup Cleansing Melt Away Balm. When you hear the word melt away, it just it sounds perfect and so soothing. And this thing is soothing. It's like a facial massage for your face. I actually do like facial massage techniques when I use this product because it has a subtle, very subtle, don't panic, warming sensation when you massage it into your face. Like I mentioned, I have sensitive skin and if a product doesn't suit me my skin is gonna break out within a couple hours like next day I'm gonna wake up with hills and mountains on my face I do get sort of hormonal or stress kind of breakouts one here one there whatever and on its way out right now but I don't think that it's associated with any of these products I like that the cleansing balm comes with this little spatula. This little amount is exactly what you need for your entire face. I like to put it between my fingers, warm it up, and apply it directly. And then I like to use a wipe to wipe it off. Now, once this pack of wipes is done. I kind of want to buy those muslin cloths on Amazon, but I ha I did order these and I want to use them up. They're the skin food celery wipes or rice wipes and they're not very saturated with liquid. I think that's why I'm able to use them. They're a great way to just grab all the product with the cleansing balm. Now if you have combination skin, if if you have dry skin, if you have sensitive skin, I think that this cleansing balm will be amazing. A lot of people are worried about using cleansing balms because they worry, is it going to leave a residue? Is it going to be too greasy? Is it going to break me out? Well, you can't just clean your face with the cleansing balm. The cleansing balm, like I mentioned, is the big gun. It does the heavy lifting. It is the one breaking down the makeup. But you still need to follow up with a cleanser, preferably a gel cleanser, because you're already using something pretty hydrating, soothing, emollient with the cleansing balm. So if you really want that squeaky clean feeling afterwards just go in with a gel cleanser another tip I want to mention before I go into the demo is to avoid the eye area when it comes to the cleansing balm I do remove my eyeshadow with the cleansing balm and I'm someone who wears contact lenses so I actually can't get like I need to avoid getting the product into my eye I still go above my eye and right here in the circular motion. But what I can't get is the mascara without it getting into my eye. Like that's inevitable. And if that doesn't bother you, I mean, it doesn't irritate my eyes. It's how I've tried removing mascara with it and it removes mascara beautifully, especially because I remove it with this wipe. But there's this just film that comes into your eye and kind of gives you foggy vision until you wash it out with water. But my eyes don't get red or irritated or anything so that's a good thing but just in case you don't want that fogginess or anything to happen I would say avoid getting it too close to your eyes don't put it on your lashes just go around this area now let's go into the demo I'm gonna demo the cleansing balm and show you how I remove it with the wipe and then I'm gonna see if I'll include the footage of me using the green clean afterwards it just might be a little difficult because I'll have to get a bowl of water Water. I'm not in my bathroom, um, but let's see. So let's get into the demo. All right, guys, this is the tough part of the video. I'm getting real and heavy with you guys here, removing this face and showing you my true colors. Don't judge. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
paper towel and I have water here since I don't have a sink in front of me. Realistically, so much wiping would not be happening if I had a faucet and water coming out, but yeah. I'm really impressed that the pharmacy cleansing balm removed my liquid lipstick. You guys know how difficult it is to remove a matte liquid lipstick and it just melted it away. Now I'm gonna go with the L'Oreal Micellar Water. I just saturated a cotton pad and then I just put it on. I just leave it at like this for a little bit until it just breaks down the mascara. This doesn't get into the eyes like other products do, being that it's a micellar water. But <laughs> there's there's an imprint. I was wearing two layers of mascara. I was wearing the It Cosmetics Superhero and the L'Oreal Lash Paradise on top. Voila! Back to looking like a beach bum in sweats and makeup free. Those were my favorite products for removing makeup. I hope you found this video helpful. Please remember to like and share it if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Bye!